Troop each of chance to put them in front. Ah, beautifully done. Drops his wrist back. He just runs the ball over the keeper. Arms going fast. Keeper thinks it's going to be a quick shot, but he takes the pace off it. You see it nicely here. With spin. Even more incredible because uh, Šupić lost a finger on his shooting hand in 2009, not long before they hosted the World Championships. A lot of people thought that might be the end of his uh, top-level handball career, but he was straight back, playing as well as ever. Into the wing, Mortensen. There wasn't a lot of space. Šupić tried to stay in close. Mortensen found it. His second goal. The winger from Sunnyust puts it wide of the keeper. Last uh, Croatian win over Denmark was in the group stages of the London Olympic Games. Come off for defence. Chupic. Strelik will drop back again. They're cluttering the middle at the moment. It's not helping a great deal for the back players. Passive plays being worn. Ah, oh, brilliant. Sliskovic. It's a newcomer to the team, playing his first World Championship. Hansen looks to the wing, he's not free. Lauga, they're pushing right up in the centre, 6-0 defence but with depth. Jakob Goyun in the middle, working alongside Sliskovic. Oh, nearly intercepted, and as the gap opened up, Goyun charged out and left the door wide open. Chris Jensen, straight down the middle. Just inside. Three, three, seven and a half minutes played. Coplia keeps on moving across. Doesn't help with his shooting. Ooh. And a top gets a yellow card, holding Suiskovic from behind after he'd been uh, bypassed. Again, Dunyak now shifts to the left. Couple of hours waiting. Ball across, not needed. Dunyak takes the shot. Well saved by Green. Hansen looks for options again. The Croats back very quickly. Chris Jansen. No options up front for Vori. He runs it for a while and passes to Coplia. Dunyak wants to get the pace going again. Sliskovic attacking foul. Chris Jansen and Lindberg closing the gap before he could get through. Oh, that was a close pass, but a lovely little. Little move by the uh, Danes, scored by Henrik Toft. It was the attacking foul at one end, but look at this. That was a touch and go pass, but such a clever pass straight to the line, Claire Toft. Denmark in front, 4 3. Siskovic. Saved by Green. His third save. Hansen down the middle. He's got a bit of space. And again, Alilovic. Fifth save for him. He's having a great game. Sliskovic, the keeper. Second goal for the back player. On comes Lauga. 4-4. Green is left back. Hansen up against uh, three of his club teammates. Coplia, Bori and Goyun. All play at Paris Saint-Germain as well. That's a yellow card. 
to Jakob Goyun, 28-year-old. We were just talking about him. Hansen's uh, club teammate in Paris. Gori not being used in defence. He's coming off. Well, he's got his range now. Mikael Hansen. Denmark, 104 kilometers an hour. Toft holding two defenders back. Slams it in the goal. Past the 10 minute mark. Denmark leading 5 4 in this uh, fifth place playoff at the World Championships. Vori Dunyak, two on the line, trying to flatten it. Sliskovic, crossover. Fumbled a bit, takes the pace off the attack. Passive play, being signal, and that's an attacking foul, puts his head down and barges into Lindbergh. Hansen, oh, all the way through. And Sliskovic out of position, and once more, Christiansen sees the gap. Takes the opportunity well. And his top is putting the block on. Six four to Denmark. So Sliskovic pushing up in defence. The wing is not working. Vori briefly free. Green. Fourth save. Dinya comes away empty-handed. Oh, side netting. Well, a long thought by the Spanish referee talking to each other on the headsets. Decide belatedly to get the free throw for this. Pushed in the back. His shirt being held as well. Keep possession. Christiansen. The German Bundesliga reacts fastest. Three goals without reply now for the Danes. Into the centre. For Croatia comes Karacic in place of Dunyak. Attacking foul again and the uh, top brothers doing a great job in defence, constantly getting in front of the Croatians. And Hansen again. Top scorer from the World Championships in 2011, hammers his second goal. Gap down the middle, 105 kilometers an hour. Toft is uh, loitering, makes the defender hesitate. One brother on each side. New timeout scored by Croatia. Some of these uh, wonderful uh, slow motion shots we're seeing throughout the game. So it resumes now. Croatia still with Karacic in the centre. Interestingly for Denmark, Sunegor went on, thought he was going to play. 
Maybe he's waiting to come on and attack. Looked frustrated when he got called straight back off again. Penalty. Elbow up by the defender, says the referee. A quick look. Well, uh, caught him high. He did grab his shirt around his uh, collar briefly and then let go. The process, though, just next to him, Henrik uh, Toft. Knock. Both his ankles uh, have uh, protective braces on them. Comes off rather gingerly, the 28-year-old uh, who plays for Hamburg. And that's not looking good. Wincing as he comes. And there is uh, Senegal we just talked about. Penalty to be taken by Chupic. Over the shoulder, the keeper. Third penalty scored by the winger. Ivan Chupic. Just over the shoulder again. 8-5, the scoreline. Chupic. Plays for Chelsea in Poland. So now Senegal is on. And the attack only. Senegal coming in and looking to pass to the line. They've also changed the uh, line player with injury to Henrik Toft. The marker putting Jesper Nudisbo, the Barcelona line player, in the picture there. And his ball comes back again, tried to take a one-handed catch, misconnected. Strelex away, but he's well covered by Lindberg. And in the end, Croatians pull back. Denmark very quick at falling back in defence. Chupic on the far side, shaking his head with frustration. Not being given much space by Mortensen. And there is Nudisbo trying to get to the ball. the midway point in the first half and uh, for the moment Denmark are leading by three Strelak <laughs> going to be a free throw Strelak, 26 year old who plays in Macedonia for Vavdar Skopje but only four of the uh, Croatian lineup play in uh, their homeland for PPD Zagreb Real League of Nations otherwise. It's going to be another free throw, but passive play being uh, signalled by the referees and a quick shot's needed. Vori rather lazily hands the ball off. But there's nothing lazy about Ivan Sliskovic's shot. His third goal of the game. The three-year-old playing in his first World Championship for Croatia. And Goodman's not a happy man. Uh, Senegal in the attack. He's only had about an hour and 23 minutes of play time so far in the competition. Oh, beautiful. Jumps, went in full extension, looked like he was going to hammer the ball, and then as the goalkeeper went up, dropped it in underneath him. A lot of spin. Nine six Denmark. That uh, goes in. Marco Coplia. Got a yellow card. Igor Bori. Well, uh, they get shoving top. He's uh, managed to catch Coplia. There's Bori. Shoves top straight into Coplia. Catches. Uh, I'm sure it's a shoulder or an elbow in his chest. Yeah. Bit of both. Smile from Bori. Coplia didn't look too impressed with his teammate though, looks across and uh, gives him a rather 
Dry smile. So Denmark have had three line players in on it. Henrik Top and now Nudis Bo. Nudis Bo and Bori in a tackle and Bori gets two minutes. Line player for Paris Saint Germain pulls him down, tries to make it look like he's an attacking foul as he locks his arm. Pulled in the cross. Notice Bo happy to go down. Bori is playing his seventh World Championships, 223 internationals. He's got the experience of coming off second best against Nudis Bo on that occasion. Hansen. Senegal. Acrobatic shot. And Kasper Senegal gets his first of the game. With a shove on him by Suskovic, who kept his composure. It was by Karacic. And down the side of Alilovic. Three goal lead restored for Denmark. It's 10 7. <laughs> Seems to skip his way through Karacic, but got there in the end. The six-year-old is also playing his first world championship. 19 minutes played. Got back to two goals. And Nudis Bo goes back in on the line. Mortensen, goal number three. And the uh, the other two wingers approve on the bench. There you go to the Sven, and even Green's applauding. So Dunyak's back on again, with Karacic. Kivik has gone in on the left wing, and we've got a yellow card for Hansen. And on Ivan Ninchevic, holding him there as he tries to get up. Minchevich, meanwhile, has gone back on his wing. So the suspension served out. Bori returns on the line. Less than 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Karacic, oh, big height on the jump. But Koplia misses the goal. Hansen comes back. Lauga races on. Coming on for the attack. Oh, slap in the face. Uh, a long thought, a bit of a discussion between the referees, but in the end, Yakov Goyun gets his marching orders and uh, Goluza looks away disappointed. We'll see it again here. Slap in the face. I mean, you look as if it's quite deliberate, but very often in these situations, it's, uh, they're going up for the ball. Also, sometimes they work on the referee thinking that's the case. Goyun gets an enforced break and uh, Goluza, who's only just got his team back to full strength, needs to rethink all over again. So the wing is now playing very wide. They're literally right in the corner, stretching the defence. Lindbergh! Oh! Off the far post and in. First goal for Lindbergh, who plays for Hamburg in Germany. Far post. Alilovic thought he was going to go to the near post. He offered it and then tried to close the door. Four goal lead for Denmark. Still a minute and 20 seconds before Croatia back to full strength again. They can push up a bit in defence. Playing a fun, keeping the line player in. Koplia 
has yet to find his range with his shooting. Rolls off the defender. Nearly stamps on him on the way through. Chris Jensen uh, comes out unscathed. Dummy, and he turns inside, sends him flying. For the uh, initial foul of holding, Croatia will have a free throw. So Vori takes it, Sliskovic comes in. And Dunyak's off again. Passive play being uh, warned by the referees. Oh, reaction saved by Green, and I was sailing towards his face. See the shot there, good hide by Sliskovic. He may not even got his hand to it, could have been off his shoulder. And it still count as his fifth save. Hansen, ah! Oh. Short one this time, bounces it, and uh, Zalilovic goes down, and sails straight over him, another 101 kilometer an hour shot. Three goals for Mikel Hansen, Croatia back to full strength again, but it's proved costly, they're now five goals down. Meanwhile Croatia have changed the keeper, Zalilovic is off and Ivic is on. Into the wing. Poor pass, though. Doesn't give him any time. Long range shot taken. And the Danish defence forcing the Croatians into long range shooting at the moment as they can't find a way through it. Ted Jansen. Lindbergh doesn't rush it. Two on the line. The top brothers staying on a 4 2 attack. And now they have a chance to change and both go running off. Jansen and the two top brothers are off. Lauga, Senegal and Nudis Bolt back in. The Danish fans up the tempo. Don't rush them too much. They've just got the right pace here. Lindbergh goes round on the line. Lauga. Oh, good block. And that was just a blur for the uh, Croatian keeper, Filip Ivic. First shot against him, and Lauga puts the block, gives Hansen plenty of room. Six goal lead, six minutes to go in the first half. Good defence again, the top brothers. Oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Yes, both of them holding him. Is it? Uh, but it's uh, Mikel Hansen by all accounts. But we can only see the top brothers there. Was he maybe pushing at the back? They certainly both had a hold of Koplia. It's Hansen who takes a break. So the track sheet comes off. Uh, Mats Mensa Larsen. Oh, hammer shot! That was nice. Igor Karacic taking advantage of the short-handed defence. 99 kilometres an hour. So Max Mensa Larsen come on. Chance of Mensa Mensa. Big powerful player. Larsen, 1 meter 88. Got over 100 kilos though of uh, brute force. Sunagor did well to keep it. Passive play being warned. An awkward bounce, but it's saved by Ivic, who reacted well. The 22 year old Croatian keeper looking for the line, and Henrik Top gets in the way, cuts the pass out, and wins it back for Denmark. And a big game by the Top brothers in defence. Inside the last five minutes. Pushing up now while well, they've got the extra player, Bori, at the front of a 5-1 defence. 
Denmark happy to move the ball slowly around the outside. Lauger. Christensen. Hansen again back to Christensen who fumbles the ball. Still in play but passive play has been called and he's annoyed. The gap was there. Just miscontrolled it now. Hansen will take a big shot but it's uh, comfortably blocked by the Croatian defence. Mincevic tries to put the ball back. Nearly uh, takes too many steps. So off goes Jakob Goyu, the defence specialist. Karacic comes on. He may not have much time to do it. Whoa, straight in the face. And uh, the long pass taken by Horvath and it allows the referees to stop play as the uh, Danish keeper takes a point blank shot straight in the face. Borimev thought he was going to go down, but he didn't. Oh, he's going to feel that. Ouch. Borimev comes over to check on him. Not sure that hug's going to make him feel any better. And Bori misses from uh, point blank. His first shot of the game. Struggled to get uh, close enough to find him on the line. Topliar cuts towards the middle. Topliar looks for the uh, line. Good defence. Hansen and Hanek Toff closing the door completely on both players. Sucking them in. And, uh, Karacic puts his head up to try and avoid a head to head collision as Hanek Toff grabs him on the way through. Well, a two-minute suspension after a long pause for Hansen. It's his second of the game. Coplia being the intermediary here. Their club mates at uh, Paris Saint-Germain caught him high, but it's actually uh, when he hit top that he went down. But Hansen maybe for holding from behind. Bengal Ramirez sends him off. And the play resumes with the ball uh, for Denmark. And Sir Larsen is on in place of uh, Hansen, who's taken the line player out for the time being. Danish fans. Not too happy with the call. Chris Gunson needs help. Lauga comes back out. And so uh, he's got a bit of space. Well, when you give him that kind of room, but that player who plays in Germany for Reinhard Karlöwen will just keep shooting all day. Hangs for a bit. To the wing, there's extra space now. Oh, trying to put it over the shoulder of the keeper, but Green got there. Goodman's on him, passive. That's the eighth save. Put his right hand to it. Well read. Seconds on the suspension for Denmark. And Sir Larson's got a bit of space. Christensen cuts towards the middle. Here come the crossovers, but they're bunching up the defence at the moment. They've got to spread it wider. Whistles a welcome relief so they can get reorganised a bit. And then Sir comes wide again. Into the wing. Passive play now being worn by the referees and a back pass by Lauga. Well off target, Mrs. Mortensen by Country Mile. 
Yeah. A good spell in defence by the uh, Croatians. So we see that pass going in Gudmundsson, livid. But at least Denmark are back to full strength. Dunyak's come on, he's trying to flatten the defence. Koplia, a bit of space, good defending by Mensa Larsen. Stop Koplia from going into the space. Top's pushed up a little bit now. Salarsen into the side netting. It's a free throw. Again, Man Salarsen doing his work in defence. Coplia can't find the space all the way through that time, but too many steps. The free throw, then Mark had possession. Coming out quickly, Man Salarsen into the wing. No space for Mortensen, for first to come around. Hansen will come back in attack and Lauga in the middle. Hansen will probably need to be substituted regularly now between attack and defence because on two too many suspensions can't afford. Doesn't stay in defence and get a third one and get red carded. Hansen cut out Lauga. Oh, unlucky for Ivic. This Jensen just had enough power on it. Third goal. Christiansen, who plays for Bieringbro in Denmark. Five goal lead for Denmark. So for Croatia, Stepancic comes on for his first taste of action. He's only played a couple of hours in the whole tournament. Nine goals though, free throw. Karacic winning it this time as Mensa Larsen again holds up in defence. Sliskovic, Stepancic. Looks to the line. A little bit of shoving by uh, René Toft. Gives a free throw. As Latko Horvat goes down. Any time he's seeing the ball is when he comes round on the line. A rather rash shot there taken by Karacic, had little option in the end, the way he was going. Comfortable save for Green, it's his ninth. Oh, and a poor pass by Mensa Larsen, behind the back of Christiansen. They're defending very well, Denmark, but in, uh, in attack they're being slightly over generous. As Dunyak comes in and helps himself. It's his second goal. Straight through the keeper. Larson comes in across to Christiansen again. The defence, four of them on one side. Oh, second time he's done that. These no look passes not really working for him and that's the first goal of the game for Stepancic. Oh, Lindberg restores some order in the attack. This is second. 33 year old. Played over 200 times for his country. A lovely pass into him by Christian to give him ample space and time. Dunyak moves left. Stefancic looks across, but Siskovic had gone down. He's back up again. Vori puts the block on. Doesn't quite work. He doesn't take up any defenders, and Dunyak finds two men in front of him, including Christiansen. Danish defence pushing up even deeper now. Dunyak being uh, picked off by Christiansen, and he can't even get going on his runs. Passive play has got to come soon. It's all going sideways at the moment. Oh. 
Pliskovic, his fourth goal, 23 year old. Goal for it back to three goals, the difference. Coming off into his wing. Can I talk? Out and back in again. Lauder has gone on the line as well. To flatten the defence. Good save by Ivic. The break is on. The ball straight down the middle. Completely misread it. An apology from Sliskovic. Hansen tried to shoot around the defender. Ivic read it. Second save by him. Croatia coming back. Almost playing too fast for their own good at times. Dunyak. Ah! Hammers it. Three goals and they're back within two as we go past the ten minute mark in the second half. Vori holding back the defence. Needs a little bit of space for him. Although uh, Hansen should probably have pushed up a bit more. So Dunyak. Third goal, putting Croatia within reach again. Into the wing, there's no space for Mortensen. Hansen. Passive play. Just to go on his own. He's got a free throw. Goyun thought it was theirs. And the referee says no. And it was for the uh, foul here as he got grabbed. They are going to need to take a fairly quick shot when they do get back to it, Denmark. He's run out of options. It's actually good defending. Well, meanwhile, the bench have taken a yellow card. It's not actually uh, Golusa, it's uh, his assistant. Mortensen's gone in and with the yellow card. It uh, buys uh, Denmark a bit more time. That was a costly few words from the bench because Nikol Hansen's had more time to build up and get his fifth goal. Overlaps the defence. The Danish fans are delighted. All the Viking hats go up. Three goal lead then, and Stradek's gone in on the wing for Croatia. Ninchevic having little success. He's been taken out. Dunyak looks back again. Saved by Green. Covered the post. Hansen again. Even Green celebrating at the other end, but Goluza shakes his head. Ninety-six kilometers an hour round the defence. 2016 Denmark. Bori comes out. He's not having much luck on the line getting service. Well, uh, that is there for Luka Stepancic, 24-year-old from PPD Zagreb, hammers one in, 105 kilometers an hour. 13 minutes played in the second half, and uh, Hansen's calling the move. Mortensen goes around on the far side. Two wide lines. Hansen sucks in two defenders. Oh, fumbled by Mortensen. He's managed to pick up the loose ball. And Hansen scores completely free because Latko Horvat had shot off on the fast break thinking they had possession. And there's no one there. Defender's gone. There was the initial fumble. Somehow Mortensen released it. Uh, 
Aldeira. Level scoring in the second half, six goals apiece. Looking for the line. It's going to be a free throw, the foul by Mensa Larson. Tidies himself up. Jakob Goyun. Thanks for Paris Saint Germain, he's in on the line. Oh, green again. 11 save of the game for the Danish keeper. Hansen screams on. Well, keeps hitting the net. Rushes on straight from the bench. 102 kilometers an hour shot and goes straight off again. Lovely action. Green's happy with that. He started the whole thing with his save. Goodmundsson. <laughs> the faces of the one minute he's remonstrating and then suddenly no I'm happy now so midway through the second half and it's a team timeout for Croatia with Green disgusting the Croatians with his 11 saves and we'll let you practice your language skills Jakove, sad ćeš ovdje Znači tu između dva i tri Luka srednjici Znači pustite loptu Istiža se Luka, Luka dođe na srednjega Luka odvuci Dolasi ovaj testo Ovo je opak Ovo je opak Ovo je opak Ovo je opak There again, show, show the intensity, the sheer physicality of this game, and also the enjoyment and uh, tension amongst the spectators. So five goals adrift, uh, Croatia resume play. one exchange for Denmark after the Croatians have taken the initiative at the beginning of the second half. That helps though. Stefanic has scored three in this half. Crossover with Dunyak. We've seen that the customary changes that Denmark makes, certainly on the right wing between Sven and Lindbergh, not happening today. Lindbergh being given in both halves and been on the whole time. Chris Jensen, Lauga. Passive play again as the uh, Danes struggle to find a gap. Looks to the line. Penalty. The push on Henai Toff as he went to take the shot. Did well. And there's a big shove in the back. Not exactly. Uh, Subtle by Jakob Goyun. So change the keeper. Ali Lubic comes back in again. Hasn't saved any of the seven penalties he's taken in the tournament. Faces up to Lindberg. Oh, that was fast. Lindberg, quick arm, but actually takes the pace off the ball, drops his wrist, runs it off his fingertips. And, and goalkeeper reacted to the arm speed rather than the ball. Six goal lead, and Ivic has gone straight back in goal. He's actually got better stats than Ali Lovic. He's on a 38% save rate to Ali Lovic is 30. And he actually has played quite a bit as well. Rakivic is the second best keeper on save rate in this tournament. Little handoff. Dunyak, Sliskovic, that was nicely done, but Horvat gets a poor pass at the end. Moving it side to side, but the Danish defence reacting all the time, and in the end, 
Dunyak decides, let's just take the direct route straight down the middle and blasts it. It's fourth goal. 107 kilometers an hour. And just one step run up. Lager, Christiansen. Rolling the line, well stolen by Goyu, and the break is on. Strelek. Always had the uh, upper hand there. Denmark will take the throw off very quickly. Hansen. Oh, off the post and stays in. Chris Jensen scores. And a two minute suspension. Off the back, goalkeeper trying to get out of the way. But meanwhile, Igor Vori makes his way to the bench. That's his second two minute suspension as well. So, one in each team now. Argues with the referee, just says, take a walk. Not interested. Bori still pleading with the table. And that will have absolutely no effect whatsoever. Dunyak. Sliskovic. Well, he certainly has found his range. Domagoj Dunyak, World Player of the Year 2013. Showing why he's held in such high regard. Playing for top German side Kiel. Into the wing, now there's space for Lindberg. As soon as you find him a little bit of room, he'll do the business. Four from four for the Danish winger. 25-21 Denmark. Comes around and he hands off quickly. A bit of mopping required after this one here. Stepan shoots going down, leaving a swathe of sweat. Strelek and Horvath come around. Strelek drops back again. Well, working a lot better across the back now for Croatia. Stepancic is fourth. Ten minutes remaining in the game. Beach quick pass down to Strelek, cuts inside. And beats Landin, who's only just arrived in goal to replace Green. Two goals in it. Hansen. Free throw. Sviskovic. And had he got through? Well, he didn't control the follow-up, that's why. So... Denmark at one point had a five goal lead, so it's cut down to two. Two on the line. Oh, trying to find the ball through. Line player was being held though, and it's going to be a free throw. Team timeout, Denmark. Eight minutes and 46 seconds remaining in the game. There was the last action. And Goyun clearly holding a top, preventing him from getting to the ball.
Og da er det viktig forkjøtter i fem mitt. Så tar vi tre venstre. Og han er avstand med vennerbåt. Du kommer inn nå. Du kan jo lytte. Vennerbåt og vi angriper. Neste gang spiller de hittil med bakover. Ok? Så første gang når man. Og neste gang bakover. Kom nå, du spiller i begge. Kom, du kommer ut av. Takk. Some of the uh, best moments from the game so far, and the emotion on the bench. Oh dear, oh dear. Hansen, oh! Say Baivic. Came off a defender, but it'll be a free throw anyway. Yeah, taking his time, Dunyak. Horvat wants to get in on the line. He's going through the area to get there. The referees say nothing. Oof. Hits the post on the side, though. Christiansen, Mensa Larsen. Hansen back to uh, Mensa Larsen into the wing. And again, Lindbergh maintains his 100% record. Goal number five. Goal number five. Winger playing his fourth World Championship. Three goal lead. Picked up by Landin in goal, but it's going to be a free throw. Danish uh, keeper. Niklas Sandin, who has a 30% save rate, has played absolutely brilliantly at times, and he saves that one-handed, but uh, hasn't really played a full 60 minutes where he's been solid all the way through, has these purple patches every now and again. Oh, dummy to the line, getting in each other's way, Dunyak looks to the line. It's going to be a free throw as Mensa Larsen somehow managed to stay in front, but there's been a little bit of a push and shove, and Mortensen's been sent off. Two minutes suspension. He was marking up front on Dunyak. There it is now. Caught him in the face. A clumsy move by Mortensen leaves the Denmark short handed. Well. That angle shows that he caught him on the hand, in fact, on the side, not on the face. Well, cheeky one, Dunyak. Oh, Dunyak, a bit of space now at the back, the Danish defence having to work overtime, and uh, the space on the wing as a result, Strelek scores. It's his third goal. The winger plays in Poland for Chelsea. Ngoluza. Here. Change of winger. Now Mortensen's off. Anders Eggert comes on. He's top scorer at the World Championships two years ago. And then Sir Larsen shoved around, gets a free throw as Hansen's being individually marked by Vori. Lindbergh's doubling up as the line player. Christiansen, oh, from an awkward angle, Vitsevic shouldn't have gone through. It's his fifth goal. Six minutes remaining. Short handed Dane somehow managed to smuggle the ball past Ivic. After that last. Uh, Slip up, Ivic has been replaced, Dalilovic goes back in goal. Horvath, Landin saves. Egger just couldn't keep it in play. First save for Landin. One and the catch earlier doesn't count because it uh, was a free throw. 
well read. Offered him the inside post, it's where he wanted him to shoot, and then leaned over to cover it. Still 25 seconds before Denmark are back to full strength. 4 2 attack. Dunyakin on the line. That wasn't a great pass. Stepancic. Again, Landin. Big save. Oh, he's feeling that. Straight in the rib cage. 104 kilometers an hour. Still feeling the effects. Five minutes remaining in the game. Oh, looking for the wing. There's no one there. Ball's gone a long way. And eventually. A long wait, Alilovic reappears with the ball as Hansen takes his uh, seat on the bench and off. For head, the mascot can't watch. Four and a half minutes remaining. Sliskovic. Sipancic. That's the windmill fame past Max Larsen. He's a tough customer though, takes care of him. Stepancic, oh and again. Ball taken over the back line. And Landin, save number three. And a hard shot but uh, not great direction, straight down the middle into Landin. Takes another body blow. And Goodmundson looks uh, as fresh as anything, pacing up and down on the bench. Donut is ball on the line. Barcelona player comes out, drops back in. Came off a defender, and be a throw in from the corner. Three and a half minutes remaining. Still Denmark hold on to a three goal lead. And the clock is stopped. So no this book. 165 internationals for Denmark, 350 goals. Been at Barcelona since 2007. 34 goals for them this season in the Liga Tobal. So Mensa Larsen in the middle. Egert goes in as a second line player, even though the suspension is served over. And once again, pass sails over, but this time Hansen shoved as he tried to make the pass and a team timeout for Denmark. Team timeout for Denmark. Good just needs uh, Believe me, we played a lot of time with this team. Calls his third team timeout, last one of the game. And I mean, no one brought this arena. So play resumes in a flurry by Denmark. Deciding to go quick. Oh, no, this ball got free. It was an awkward angle, but Ali Lovic saves it. Inside the last three minutes. Dunyak. Oh, brilliant play. Oh, off the bar. Follow up for Bori. Oh, save. What's going to go right for the man? Unbelievable.
Landin. And the supporters chant his name. It was a sublime pass into him without even looking by Dunyak. And then Bori gets a second chance. And it's saved. Two minutes remaining. And Bori stats zero goals from three attempts. Been his problem all tournament, really, a lack of uh, consistency. Mensa Larson came off a defender, it'll be a throw in from the corner. Clock still running down in Denmark, looking to have secured fifth place. It's all for pride. These two teams who know each other well never like losing to each other either. Ah, uh, Chris Jensen, Alilovic just jumped at the wrong moment and gave him an easy. Easy gift, straight underneath. Six goal for Mats Christensen, the Vjering ball right back. <laughs> Slow motion celebration by Goodmanson. Four goal lead, one minute to go. Orban cuts back inside. Good defence by Nudisbo. And a team timeout now for Croatia with 45 seconds remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our. He's got one to you, but you kind of wonder a little bit why now at this stage. Okay. And then call the team timeout. He barely spoke to them for 15 seconds. So there we go. What players he set them up with? 45 seconds to go. Around the Danish fans singing away happily and swaying with the music. It's all Denmark now as they're about to celebrate victory here against Croatia. Goes wide, Landin had it covered. And Denmark in no hurry to move the ball up court. And they top three enters. He's going to start at the back, but I assume driving on the line. And there he goes. Oh, with his boot, tries a long range effort, follows up, who steps inside the area. And there's the buzzer. And so Denmark beat Croatia and take. Fifth place at the World Championship. Both teams disappointed not to have made it through to the semis, but at least here.